welcome to this morning on Asake Podcast, your daily dose of insightful conversation on current affairs, politics, and social issues. Please share and also follow us on social media at SiteZW. Now, stay tuned to today's episode. A very good morning to you and welcome to this morning on Asake. My name is Nontlan Shama Biwa and of course I'm here with Brighton. Good morning, Brighton. A very good morning to you guys. Welcome to the Tuesday edition of this morning on Asake. It's nice to be back. Today on the show, we're going to be looking at what this is a national assembly has filed an interdict uh, to stop the displacement of local party funding, uh, saying no, uh, no, this case is still in court, so stop uh, displacing these funds until this, uh, these cases are done. Good morning to you, Chaplain John. And I don't think there's something that is going to change because of the court case or whatsoever, because already we all know that uh, uh, in this case, Shabangu is the one who has been said to be the Secretary General and recognized by the Parliament and so forth. So he's the one who is going to get money. The rest, it's just another drama that may be trying to delay or to give us maybe some meal in terms of content to play around with. But the reality of the matter is just simple. Uh, we, 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 we all know uh, our, 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 our regime, our government, to say our government, as long as they just give someone money, it's what it is. They don't care who is going to be, is it going to go to the uh, real recipient or not real recipient because remember, uh, all this, yeah, the paper trail to say this is where it is going to go. I think it, it, at some point as, as individuals, we should be able to study history and use it to predict the future. ZANU PF in their way of trying to deal with this issue as government, they will give it to Shabang. The rest of what we may try to do, we are trying to say and whatsoever, it may not have enough weight or it may not have enough substance because already, according to them, they want to reward their person. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Champion John, uh, for sharing your views and thoughts on today's topic. Good morning, Twitter Bank. Good morning, Brighton. For me, to be honest with you, I think all oh, this is just a side show. Something that uh, progressive citizens shouldn't uh, be focusing on, really, because it does, it does uh, little to benefit us. Morals are not only based on what you feel is right. But morals are also based on what the law says. So if the law supports that, that is moral. But the parliament does not recognize Chalang from Norway. So these issues are interconnected. There is need to appreciate what happened uh, in the past in order to understand why certain things are happening, even in these present circumstances. Because when Chalang was uh, allowed by the court to uh, 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 be issuing out those records. It meant that the court also was recognizing him as the Secretary General of the party. Then the, the parliament then went on to recognize him as the leader of the opposition. So that also speaks volumes. So now that is uh, because we cast our vote, uh, there is need to recognize what we as citizens want. But in all honesty, the events and shenanigans post-2023 harmonized elections were an indication, a clear indication that your vote does not matter at the end of the day. Because whosoever you voted for will be recalled. Whosoever you believe was the leader of the party will walk up tomorrow not being the leader of the party. So in all honesty, you can't locate the citizens in, in this whole discourse. It's as what the citizens were being used. Thank you. Thank you so much, Atsefang, uh, for that submission this morning. Good morning to you, Njabulo. Good morning, uh, Brighton. Uh, t- uh, some of these uh, political uh, parties, um, uh, you will discover that uh, we only see them becoming active and vocal when it comes to issues that have to do with money. But when citizens are in trouble, like right now, uh, Brighton, 
uh, you'll find out that um, Zimbabwe does uh, in Zimbabwe very okay, it's and uh, there are a lot of things that are not going well in Zimbabwe. And I haven't seen some of these political parties wasting their money on taking the government to court for failure to deliver service to the citizens. I see they spend a lot of money in, in the internal squabbles that they have, uh, uh, you know, because going to court, I don't think they are going there for free. Why can't they take this money to fight for the rights of the Zimbabweans? Why can't they take a lot of companies have closed in Zimbabwe because of lack of electricity? Why are they not suing the government? We have had to have issues like this before. So these guys are showing their true colors at the end of the day that they are not passionate about the rights of the citizens, but their own stomach. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anjabulo, for that. Good morning to you, Ngala Kanisha. Good morning, Brighton. In the displacement of the political funds, it's about the political parties. So there are two political parties that are in parliament there. Eh? There is TPC and ZANU PF. But now the issue on the subject that you, people are trying to discuss is an, is an issue of the TPC. Whereas Parliament will only have to disperse the money to Triple C, then the issue remains now with the so-called Triple C. If there are factions, if they are going to even distribute the money, but in actuality, Parliament has no obligation on who to give personally. But Parliament has to follow what the system says because the system was set in a simple and straightforward manner. It's Triple C and ZANU PF, those parties that get into parliament and those that are due for what? For the money. How they share it is their business. So to me, uh, the matter of who gets it, who doesn't get it is a matter of principle on their side. And that is where it will show us which cat is the cat and which one is the lion. Thank you. Wow, quite interesting. Then, Kala, what you are raising there, the issue of who is going to get it is the matter of principle, they say, Kala. Let's move on to our next speaker. The good morning to you, Kakasman. Hello, Brighton and Joshua. We don't want anyone to get that money. Yeah, if, if, if there is anyone who is interested, I'm up for that. We challenge the parliament to rather buy ambulances with that money. We can't be having people because the purposes of this money, it's not going to work. This is why this money it is So the the right people who were doing the work are not the people who are now getting the money. We never saw Chabangu anyway. So we can't be having people like last time uh Monzora and his team got that money. It's it's our money, the citizens. We can't be distributing money to these politicians. They don't help us anyway. This money must be used for something uh, beneficial to the to the citizens, not not this nonsense. Thank you. Well, thanks so much for kaka, for that kakas. Man says no. This money should go towards buying ambulances, and no party should receive this money. Kulabanya as well, who are still in the party, who yeah. also campaigned, and, and and you know. Good morning to you, Welcome to the show this morning. Thank you so much, Brighton and Nontlasha. Courts should give a fair judgment before the money is sent out. I think the CNA is right. Put that one into it. Let's sit down. Let the courts make it, you know, a, a clear, sober judgment. That is straightforward. At least, I, mean, I think these two funds that don't deserve, not only uh, Chabang should be out of the equation at the end of the day. And this money should not be withheld because Chabang is not there. No, that would be unfair for those who are, who remained in parliament, who are still there, who want to go on about their work and they want to do something to save their communities. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Vicky, for that. But also, mm-hmm. one thing that's confusing is to say, even if moral law is saying, going to say the courts must decide, right? Mm-hmm. But however, parliament, right? The parliament has already decided to say, we recognize Chawang as the leader of the opposition in parliament. So what will the court say in terms of yeah. discussing these funds <laughs> when the parliament is already decided to say, no, this is the person that we recognize as the leader of opposition in parliament. Mm. Come to the end of the show <laughs> for this morning. For myself, right on Nobe. And non It's bye for, for now. now. Thank you for tuning in to this episode. For feedback, you can contact us on 263-777-4700 Don't forget to follow and like our social media pages.